One of these meetings yesterday, and I remember that a lady told you that she had had eight children, mm -hmm. and four of them had died in childbirth, mm -hmm. or shortly thereafter. But if all of them had survived, she'd have eight children. Mm -hmm. And what the developing world does not need is more children. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the biggest aha to Bill and me when we got into this work, is we asked ourselves, of course, the same hard-nosed question you'd ask, which is, if you get into this work and you start to save these children, will women just keep overpopulating the world? And thank goodness the converse is absolutely true. So they don't do that because women say to themselves, they want two children to survive into adulthood. If she knows that two will survive into adulthood, she will naturally bring down her population. And so as soon as she starts to see that getting them vaccinated or keeping them alive during the birth, she won't have as many children. That's what we just heard from this group as well, that the older women had had more children, hoping more would survive, but the younger children, younger women are starting to plan for smaller families because they know they'll live. They, they all said they wanted three. Yeah, yeah. which is fantastic. That's what, that's what you want, yeah. And so if you understand that there's a high likelihood that your child is gonna survive, you believe they'll have fewer. Absolutely, and we're seeing that play out in all the population numbers across the globe. In fact, the population rates are coming down faster than had been predicted. Aha to Bill and me when we got into this work is we asked ourselves, of course, the same hard-nosed question you'd ask, which is if you get into this work and you start to save these children, will women just keep overpopulating the world?